Patrick Cantona only played professional football until the age of 30, but what an impression he made. Between his time in his native France and England, he'd win seven league titles, along the way scoring 165 goals in 439 matches. But what happens if you move him to the present day on Football Manager 2024? Let's find out. But for this season, he'll be lining up with Burnley. This is the exact same version of Cantona who appeared on Championship Manager 2. The 1996 season would be one of his most prolific in English football, as he scored 19 goals in 38 games in all competitions. Athletically, he's probably going to struggle a little bit with the pace of the modern Premier League. Technically, though, he's going to be amongst the best forwards in the entire division. His technique, touch and finishing are top-notch. That combined with great decision-making and composure means he should convert plenty of chances he gets. And considering Burnley were relegated in 2024, amassing just 24 points in the process, he's going to need to hit the ground running. It looks like Vincent Company will be lining up his side in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Cantona will be deployed as the starting forward. With the two defensive midfielders playing so deep, it looks like Burnley will be playing a counter-attacking style. Let's see how that works out for them. After opening the season with back-to-back -back defeats, Cantona finally found the back of the net. Incredibly, Burnley would put five past Chelsea. For a second, Cantona gambles on the flick-on before powering the ball past Jordi Petrovic. He wasn't finished at two though. Just before time expired, he ended up deflecting this ball towards the opposite post. With 10 games played, Burnley was sitting pretty in 15th place. Cantona's high pressing even helped them earn a valuable last minute point against Arsenal. Here he gets on the end of the through ball. Over the next few months, the tide would turn a little. Burnley would fail to win their next 10 league games. Even here, after Cantona opens the scoring against United, they'd go on to lose again. And after such a promising start, halfway through the season, things are starting to look a little grim. Four points behind 17th place Everton meant that they desperately needed to improve their form for the second half of the season. In a big relegation six-pointer, Cantona would score the game's only goal. One week later, he'd score another decisive goal, and once again, against Manchester United. His final involvement of the season would come on the penultimate match day. Despite not possessing that electric pace, he cleverly runs in behind before firing past Emi Martinez. In all, Eric would contribute nine goals and two assists in 36 Premier League appearances. It was a little unfortunate that his teammates just didn't create all that many chances for him. He found the back of the net every 359 minutes. The Frenchman slightly underperformed his expected goals, which was 9.14. But could he fire his side to safety? Not this time. Just like in reality, his side would finish the Premier League season in 19th position. This time around, they actually accumulated one less point, scored 11 less goals, and conceded four more. Also, like in reality, they'd finish eight points adrift of safety. Eric Cantona is one of the most iconic footballers of the last few decades. Since his retirement, he's still as recognisable and revered as when he was gracing a football field. On the latter here, though, not even his genius could save Burnley from their unfortunate relegation. <laughs> 